and uh, it is really a, a contract in honour of the creation of the private company we call the Holy See or the Roman Catholic Church by the Venetians. Right. right. Okay. Well, we've got gone through most of the questions on the, the chat. Looks like we don't, I don't have anything else that's come in. Does, does it look like? Um, it We've got East Pennsylvania East. there, I see. Do you yeah, want to... let's get let's get uh, let's get East Pennsylvania. Are you there? Right. Yes. Hi, Ray. Right. Hey, right. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> marriage here in the state of Pennsylvania, and any place where the Quakers are recognized, you do not need a third party. You can marry each other, and then Fantastic. and then all you have to do is send it into the Quaker Church, and you'll be recognized as a marriage. Not to the state, just to the church, and um, it, it's it's really easy. You make up your own vows, and you and you marry each other. You do not. There's nobody which marries you. It's you know you you state it, and then you what you do is you send it in. There is no documents. All you do is file with the Quaker Church, and you don't have to be Quaker to do this. It's anywhere, it's well, any think, place where the Quakers yeah. are recognized do that. Oh, that's really good information, right? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. how's everything going? I, I missed most of the conference I was working until just, just a little while ago. So, um, yeah, that's no, good. We're talking tonight, we spoke about, oh, you'll hear it anyway, but we spoke mostly tonight about uh, the use of wills and um, how to defeat key presumptions like uh, being declared intestate or, or dead in their system. Right. Well, what uh, I've learned uh, is, here's the one deal. At each, at, at, when you're writing a will, instead of them paying probate, which is 6% tax in the state of Pennsylvania, what you do is you have them uh, pay, pay your estate $1 for everything, and you can legally get away with that. You know, everything they yeah, receive, they put $1 out of their pocket. Yeah, this is something that we, we will need to help people with in terms of enacting their, their will uh, because of the issue of probate. That's one of their um, tricks that they do on people. So I think this is, again, something we've got to, we've got to do in the notes. We're updating, right? I also want to apologise because I said to you I'd have a chance to speak with you in the last week, but the week has flown and um, I haven't had the chance to give you a call, but... Um, we've been working on the charters. We've been working on the um, the changeover in terms of the material, and we've been working very, very much on the research into uh, wills and intestate in the last few days. And it's just with all of that, the week has just totally vanished. Um, I actually was speaking with somebody which comes out of another group, and there was a lot of damage done there. We'll yep. keep the other silent um but uh she is an editor and i thought you know hey you know you you did the copyright the right, right way you you have copyright on everything you send it to yourself yeah okay um it'd be nice to have it published though everything published in hardback mm. Mm. um uh, she actually is probably listening in to this this conversation she might not be on this late and also we yep. have another, which uh, his name is Paul. I really think that he's going to bring a lot, you know, a lot to the table in a different way. Yep. You know, not as much as, you know, the legal, the legal ease, but uh, more in industrial. Yeah. Uh, well, I think that would be great. And, well, how about this? Because I, I feel like I remiss last time that we didn't get to speak. Um, it's Thursday here. It's, it's Wednesday for you. Um, yes. Let's see if we can talk. Um, tomorrow night, your time, if I can give you a call, would be wonderful. Okay, yeah. I get, I get off right. work. I get off work approximately 9.30 Eastern time. Give, give me a call okay. at 10. On, All right, on my uh, phone. Okay. okay, I'll do that. And, All right, we'll talk. We'll, we'll go, and then we'll go through those things. That would be great. Okay. Okay. All right, thank All you, Ray. Oh, no. You be good. All right, Frank, you want to just uh, do a quick uh, wrap-up? That's 
pretty much all the questions we have for tonight. And I'd like to yeah, thank everyone for joining was, us. Yeah, participating. I'll, I'll answer one question that was just in the chat about Book of the Green Race. Oh, Book of the and Green then, Race. Um, okay. Yeah, and then I'll, I'll wrap it up. And, and sorry, that's if you good. hear barking in the background, that's Cocker Spaniels. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, look, there is a history that is different to what we were told in Bible class that is reflected in the history of the ruling elite and whether we believe that alternate history to be true or not there is more than enough evidence to show that the ruling elite certainly believe the provenance of it to be true now it is the ruling elite it was a king that produced the Bible. So if the same ruling elite showing their buildings, their history, their story, an alternate history, and then they feed us another story, then I felt that it was only fair that some of those stories see the light of day. And without going too far into Book of the Green Race and the specific question, and I ask anyone on the call if they want to understand what we're talking about, Book of the Green Race or Lebor Clan Glass, which is on one-island.org, is worth reading. It is definitely worth reading. The point I would make is this. The Baphomet or the Baphomet, the Templars, Sinclair, and a whole raft, tens of thousands of esoteric pieces of art, paintings, and references all point to a history that is contrary to what we were taught. And that's what that refers to. Uh, if that is in conflict with your belief system, I'm sorry, as I say, I do not intend in any fashion to contradict people's beliefs. I'm here to help them. But as I say, uh, to be fore, forewarned is to be forearmed, and uh, I've given the context of, of why it was written. So look, in summary, tonight, as we started tonight and as we kind of wrap up, when we find knowledge, when you share insight and information, when we garnish an understanding of wisdom that we've been trying to, to learn, it is all my, always my intent that that will be shared to you, even if it comes across raw, even if there are still pieces to be completed. Now that will always entail a risk of contradiction, but I believe in this climate, we must be prepared to share without condition and share for, for better or for worse in the hope that collectively we will reach a greater awareness. I thank you. I thank all of you for listening. Your time is precious. I thank all those that will listen to the call and I hope and trust that you will share this information and let others know about it. And above all, I know that Terry may not be able to host next week, but I want to thank you, Terry, for hosting again tonight. Thank you very much. Yes, all right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. And uh, Frank, are you gonna, would you like me to still schedule the call for next week? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, great. I'll get you on schedule for next week. And thanks again for everyone. And uh, thank you, Frank, for going over extra. And thanks for all the great information tonight. All right. Thanks, everyone. All Good right. Good night. Good night.